Legion readers, Marcus Traxler, Spencer Chase, back at the scene of the crime from a few nights ago if you're a Jackrabbit fan when uh, USD upset SDSU on the men's side tonight. Uh, women's basketball and it's a pretty solid matchup I would say much more even than uh, what uh, Thursday's game was in the fact that the Jacks have won nine straight. They've won every game since playing USD on the uh, 16th of January and USD has done the same. They have not lost since that meeting in Frost Arena, an eight-point loss for USD. So what are kind of the keys for the Jackrabbits to sort of avoid uh, falling into the same trap the men did? Well, definitely. For the men, everyone was expecting a Jackrabbit blow, and they were expecting a very decisive win. For this women's game, nobody's really sure. They're expecting mm -hmm. a very, very physical and very contested basketball game. And the number one priority for South Dakota State has to be to shut down some league player of the month, Amber Heggie. She's a very dynamic player, and she can create a lot of problems for the Jackrabbits. And Heggie was a lot of what the Coyotes had going in the first meeting. The Jackrabbits definitely favored in this one, but it, it should be interesting. I think a big key would be how well the Jacks can shoot. Can they avoid some of those uh, plagues that hit the men? Not that they're directly correlated, but it's something to watch as the game rolls on. I think uh, the Coyotes will, will be in this game for much of the way uh, I expect it to go down to the final possession or two. Uh, kind of your thoughts as, as we... Uh, really look forward to, well, this is the third best team in the Summit League going against the Jackrabbits tonight, and uh, they've got a lot to play for tonight. And yeah, I think the Jackrabbits had a bit of a wake-up call against UMKC on Saturday, and I think they're going to come into this game firing on all cylinders. They've really realized that, yes, they can be beat by a team in the Summit League with that game against UMKC, and I think the atmosphere in this game is also going to play a huge role. We saw how hyped up the fans were against the men. I think they're going to carry that same energy against the women. It'll be very interesting to see what sort of dynamics play out. Uh, for this women's side, we could kind of expect what was going to be on the men during the men's game. Uh, women is a little bit more of a wild card. We'll have coverage throughout, and we'll be back afterwards with more post-game coverage on stsucollegion.com. Uh, Marcus C. Spencer, thanks everybody.